Hello, y'all. Good to see you. Like anxious children waiting for Christmas morning. We've been talking about art class since Monday. Yeah. Time has a way of dragging Yay! for these giddy students. <laughs> Those tubes have been around a long time. At this adult learning center. Does anybody have any questions? Six friends are expanding their horizons through color and canvas. I never could understand art the way I understand it now today. Vivian Moore. Like bursting, bursting, yeah. Like springtime. They're springtime colors. Yes, springtime. Never thought twice about painting for pleasure. I actually started this class in October of last year. By picking up a brush, Vivian has discovered a hidden talent in an unlikely place. To me, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. I would never imagine that I would be using real paint, real brushes, real canvases in a prison. Easels unfold twice a month at Virginia Correctional Center for Women in Goochland. The sky gets deeper as it goes higher, so you can go to the slightly darker blue. Art for the Journey pairs seasoned artists with novice painters. We just thought, we want to take this to other people who normally don't have this opportunity. Volunteers like Jamie Wigginton says painting, no matter your skill, transforms lives through creative expression. The fun part about it is to watch them progress, though. No matter where they start, they end up in a place where they're all proud. You might start off with one thing, and then the next thing you know, it's totally different. At this facility, nothing is abstract. Offenders are serving time for crimes ranging from drugs and DUI to murder. The only watchful eye in this studio comes from trained professionals. Beautiful. Prison supervisors say hard time softens with each stroke. This is a new beginning. They're learning new things, they're becoming new people. It's our pleasure, dear. I tell you, yes, it gives us a lot of joy to come and do this. Professional artist John Herrholzer. Well, it was in 2013, actually, that we came up with this idea. President of the nonprofit says, watching self-confidence levels soar is a thing of beauty. When I began to bring the art to other people, I find that more fulfilling than actually making art myself. I haven't ever used oils. But I love color. Lexi Mendez. And I love flowers. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Embraces the opportunity to inject some zest. It can be a little drab, you know. Into an otherwise monotonous existence behind bars. Everything in here is gray, blue, or orange. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Vivian Moore could not be more grateful for this chance. It makes me want to be successful in life. And guidance from the dedicated volunteers. When I leave, I don't want to leave. I just want to stay in here. The woman who barely knew how to draw a stick figure. I just got to work with it be a little patient. Is creating her masterpiece. I can't rush fine art. Inside and out. I made a lot of mistakes, um, but I'm not where I used to be, you know. And I'm trying to make things right. Art for the journey. Uh, <laughs> the subjects range from landscapes to wildlife, but all the paintings share a theme of independence. When I'm here, it's like it's a great escape. Um, I don't think about being behind bars, you know. My mind is clear and it's free. That turned out awesome, Rhonda. I love the white. That really. We find remarkable people all across Central Virginia. Joey Metz is a hero to a lot of people. This is his life passion, it's obvious. Watch Heroes Among Us Thursdays on CBS 6.